Wait a Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? Let me see how. Have we seen the mayor? Mayor! Oh, mayor! I sure wish I knew what happened to Milton. It's not like him to miss these opening ceremonies. Well, we gotta get this ribbon cup. Do we have a volunteer? Oh, we do, we do. We've got Brody. Brody, come on through here. Is it Brody? Right, Let's yes. Give uh -huh. Brody a round of applause. All right. Yeah, Brody! All right, we're gonna help Brody out here. We're gonna count down from the number five. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hooray! Welcome, one more time. Hooray! Presidents <laughs> arrested each other. Yay! Oh, well, I think he's interested him first. Yeah, he's back and forth. And then, uh, out of, uh, we locked ourselves in, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Well, you it's better, it's better. You know what? I got a suggestion for you. What? Why don't you try the door? Yeah. Uh, you all got <laughs> 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 well, now I just feel ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> all right, deputy, in answer to your first question, no, I ain't seen the sheriff. That's what I'm standing out here yelling for. Oh, we ain't seen him either. You think the mayor's seen him? Well, I ain't got a pickle. We don't know where the mayor is either, do we? Oh, I find it. <laughs> There's no mayor. That's right. There's no sheriff. Uh -huh. uh, so who's going to keep uh, order? Uh, you in? will. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <clears throat> sheriff's office is on the case, y'all. First order of uh, Founders Day. We're going to, uh, uh -huh. you know, I figure we should probably start with a little bit of... All right. Judge, how do you normally get this ball rolling? Uh, 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 I'm just judge, trying to... Judge. This letter just arrived at the post office. It's, it's a letter from Sheriff Wheeler to the whole town. Well, Brett, why don't you read this here letter? Uh, right. <clears throat> Dear Calico, this here is Sheriff Wheeler. I've, I, uh, I've, I've spent a lifetime growing up and living in Calico, and I think it's the most amazing place in the world. Serving as your sheriff has been an honor all these years, and I wouldn't trade those days for nothing. But all good things must come to an end, and I've decided to hang up my peacemakers and ride off into the sunset. He's retiring. What? That's right, I'm retiring. I, I want to spend my twilight years drinking coffee at sunrise and whiskey at sunset. I know the town is in good hands and that you'll elect a worthy successor. Know that my heart will always be in Calico where my friends are. But maybe I might even see you on the train someday. Your friend in the law, Sheriff Wheeler, retired. Retired? Well, it sounds like it's going to be a very interesting Founders Day yeah, after all. Well, what are we going to do? Huh? <laughs> There's no law in town, family. Mad Bucks, do as you please. Get back here, Jerry. Come on. You Mad Bucks, too. Stay right there. Just because the sheriff is retiring don't mean there's no law in town. I'm still here. The deputies are still here. Well, what this does mean is that we need to have an election for sheriff. So let's go to Town Hall and tell the mayor the news. Come on, everybody. Yes. Town Hall, here we go. Town Hall, what do, you, what do you think? You think my Paul be a good sheriff? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Oh. Thank you. Really thank you. Sheriff of Calico, right, right here. Yes. I'll vote for you. Oh, you. Am I allowed to vote? I'm a felon. Judge, what, what brings you and all these fine folks here to Town Hall this glorious Founders Day? Well, we're here to see the mayor because we got some very important news about Sheriff Wheeler. I mean, former Sheriff Wheeler. Oops, did I give that away too soon? He's dead. He's I'm not dead. dead. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. That was, oh, that was, that was <laughs> wishful thinking. He's retired. Okay, so Sheriff Wheeler retired. Yeah, all right. today I should be dead. Day. That's an episode. Today is not the end of the day for something like that. What with Founders Day and everything? We need both of you here. Well, that's what we all thought. That's why we need to see the mayor and tell him that the sheriff is not dead. He's retired. Oh, uh, well, the mayor isn't here exactly. He is on some very important business. And what and business would this be? Well, well, um, 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 you know, uh, you, he left in this letter, actually. Oh, great, another letter. All right, Mary <laughs> Bell, why don't you go ahead and read this letter? Oh, I've read the letter. To us. Dear Calico, I do declare this here is your ever-loving mayor, Milton C. Howell, writing to you on this glorious Founders Day. There's a little hitch in our get-along, dear citizens. You see, the Admiral, the legendary 100-pound catfish, has been spotted of a greedy pawn. I've been trying to catch the animal for five years now, and today's the day I can feel it. Founders Day is not the best day to be out of town, but the allure of the Admiral is too strong. I've left behind instructions on who to take my place as mayor for the day. There'll be so many mayors today, it'll be a marathon of leadership. <laughs> it's funny, right? I trust your incapable hands. Now the Admiral is calling, and I intend to take my place in the record books. Happy Founders Day, and I'll see you soon, Mayor Milton C. Hell. <laughs> But he's gone fishing? Yes, I just said that. Yeah, it's true, folks. But 
looks like we're on our own for Founding Day. Oh, but it says here that our first man of the day shall be the person who cuts the ribbon. Wait a minute. Yes, we've got Brody here. Hi, Brody. Come right over here. And they have Sophia who's going to be assisting as well as the rest of the you'll be his city council, all right? Brody, we've got Brody here. Would you have the uh, stash? He is coming right out. Yes, indeed. All right. I'll trade you. Okay. All right, Brody. Let's put this on here. Make you official. Uh, okay, put your hands through there. Alright, All right. pull that up there like that. Alright, Brody, raise your right hand. That's this one right over here. You, Brody, promise to perform the duties of mayor and serve the good citizens of Calico to the best of your ability? I do. Therefore, by the power and rest of me as judge of the town of Calico, I hereby declare that Brody is our first mayor of the day. Yay! Yay! All right, you riffraff. Here is Mayor Brody. I'm City Councilor Sophia, and their publicity agent, right back here. Hello. Hello. Well, tell them who you are. Nice to meet you. Uh, I want you to know that uh, uh, during your term, uh, we in Mayfields will not engage in any illicit activity. Well, that's nice to hear. Well, I mean, we're not going to plan to really do anything until later on in the day. I mean, uh, we're not going to uh -huh. do anything. This is Mr. Jackson. He runs the schoolhouse. I should go before I further terminate. Yeah, I think you should. Is there anything we can do for the, they can do for the town, for the schoolhouse? I need for the schoolhouse. Well, would you like to come in and see if anything's missing? Go ahead, take them on inside. Uh, hey, bye, Mayor. Uh, <laughs> mayor, how's it going? This here's our schoolhouse. What do you think, Mayor? Good, sir. <laughs> What do you think? Need some new chairs in here? New students? Uh, uh, probably a uh, higher desk. Yeah? Higher desk. Higher desk? Please? What? The chairs are good? Oh, Brody, you're about to have an interview. Are you ready? Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Ooh. Okay, Ooh, big moment, big I'm moment, Mayor. Oh. oh, my goodness. It's a new mayor! Oh, mayor. Oh, mayor. Oh, mayor. Oh, mayor, what's your name? Brody, Mayor Brody, all right. City Council. Oh, City Council, what's your name? Sophia and Brody, all right. And their publicity. Oh, and publicity, publicity. my goodness. My goodness. They have their own, their own oh, team already. Y'all come on over there. So, welcome to the Calico Gazette. Step into my office. I don't have an office, so I sit right here. Now, Mayor Brody, so, as the judge may have told you, I work for the newspaper. So what's going to happen is at 11.30, we're going to have our next edition of the Calico Thank Gazette. You. And I want to get Thank a quote you. from you for the newspaper. To make sure the Mayfields take charge of Calico at the end of the day. Oh, yes. Charge of Calico. Yeah. Don't listen to your publicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. You want to the outlaws in charge of the town. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, hey, for my intrusive thoughts. Crime is always bad. I mean, unless you say it isn't bad, in which case that will all oblige. Ice cream day. Ice cream, ice cream, cream day. day? What day is ice cream day? Every day. Every, every day, day is ice cream day? About at 2 o'clock. Ooh, two every day. So at, at 2 o'clock to maybe around 3, so it's the ice cream hour of every day? Yes. Ooh. Well, I like this idea. I don't know about I don't know about you, but I think this is a good idea. I'm gonna hand you back off to the judge now. Say thank I hope you. you all have a wonderful Founders Day, and I can't wait to see what you do. <laughs> thank you so much, thank sir. You, sir. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mayor Brody. Congratulations, sir. My name sir. is Shelly. What's your name? Brody. Brody, nice to meet you, Mayor. And I'm Cody. He shook my hand. Yes, you are. Yeah. About time y'all stepped up and did something around this well, that's the city council, that's Sophia, that's Brody, that's the publicity match. Hey, you never stop filming this thing. Here you go. <laughs> Mayors, it, it, come on in, please. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't had time to, to clean up yet with the sheriff retiring this morning and all. Uh, may I shake your hand? It's an honor. Uh, what is your name, Mr. Mayor? Uh, Brody. Brody, and what is your name? Uh, Sophia. Sophia. The council. Very good to meet you both. I see you're taking a, a seat here. Did we uh, want to take a load off, play a game of cards? Did you have something to report to me? Ooh, the mayor's a bit of a card shark. Is that right? There's dead bodies. Oh, no dead bodies in here. Can the mayor please? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead, pull it. What about a live body? Uh, well, that's what we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe if you can fit in there, we could. Uh, <laughs> Yay! 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 Yay!
Now, what is all this junk? Well, Judge, this is all that's left of my circus days. Uh, see, Elephant kicked over a, a lantern, burned the circus down. Everybody was fine. But this is all that I have. I have my singing cone right here, my, my shout cone. What happened to the elephant? Uh, uh, well, they, they, they retired to a nice resort on an island. The elephant resort? Yeah, elephant resort. I've heard of that place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, but I was thinking, Calico, the town you, we are in, I thought we'd throw a circus today. <laughs> you can, but you need a permit for that. Where would I, how would I get a permit? Well, when we get back to town hall, the mayor has to write you out a permit. Oh, I, you know, I didn't see that. Mayor, such a pleasure to meet you. What's and your that name? that goes, uh, that's an IOU of $25, too. Oh, oh. Uh, so I'll tell you what, you, you write out that IOU. Okay. The mayor and the city council will take it over to the bank to put it in the town. I can do that. And then they'll make out a permit for you and we'll bring you the permit. Okay, I can do that, yeah. yeah. Hi, Mayor. How you doing? Can you make it that when you work here on Founders Day, it's not just volunteer work, you get paid? She don't pay me. We can take care of that. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. I appreciate that. So we'll take that to the bank in a minute. We got a couple more stuff. Let's go inside thank you, here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What was your name? Sophia. Sophia. Because I have the mayor, Mayor Brody, oh, Sophia, the city council, and their publicity agent. It is so nice to meet you, Senor. <laughs> I was going to shake your hand, but I can only be paper for you. I'm Teodora, but the town calls me Teddy. Like the bear? <gasps> you know, I have this great idea. I don't know if I can run it to you. You saw the, the criminals in jail last night, Senor. Did you know they suffer from night terrors? Night terrors? Yeah, they were screaming all night. So I was thinking, well, why didn't somebody catch them? Uh, that is not my place. And then, uh, so what is that? Uh, I'm thinking, thinking if we can give all the criminals little, uh, uh, like, teddy dolls, bear? teddy bears, to, you know, help them sleep at night. See? So you want, you want all the criminals to get a teddy. You want that to be a law? See, that way, you know, there may be... We're starting to get too many laws here. I better write these things down. <laughs> maybe their night terrors are why they're committing so many crimes. Mm. Here, hold on to the prototype. So you can take it back to the all, uh, Outlaws teddy bear. That's See, to stop crime. I like it. I think it makes sense, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, look at that. It's really you cute think it too. Might help them? Yeah. Night what do you terror. think, Mayor? You think it'll help them for night terror? Yes. Become better people. We got the mayor here, and the city council, Mayor Brody, and the city council, Sophia. I go in there. Got to let the publicity agent in there too. There, yeah. Nice yarn doll you got there. I was just explaining to them. Come on over here. That we got a mustache style guide, and different folks in town can earn different mustaches. I was saying the pencil is for the bandits, and the handlebar is a very rich and fancy mustache. If you work in the bank or maybe town hall, you can earn a mustache like that. Then we got ourselves a bushy, which is for the lawman or lawwoman, depending on who you are. If you like busting the bad guys, putting them behind bars, you can earn that mustache. And last but certainly not least, we got ourselves a walrus, and that's for hardworking townsfolk as well as prospectors. So if you go on out, have some adventures, come on back. We'll talk about it, and maybe together we'll find the right mustache for you. Mm -hmm. so make sure to come on back here after you're done serving your term, all right? I look forward to seeing you again. Which one would you get, Brody? I think you would be a bushy one. Wow. Hi, how are you all? I'd be bushy. I'd be bushy too. You'd be bushy? bushy? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that makes you excellent officials. I feel like I can trust you, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. No. The bigger, the bushier, the, the better. better. Right? Yeah, there we go. I like that. <laughs> Yeah. Look at you! And this part of the cabinet, right? Can we have you here? You're taking the tour of the town. Yep, I gotta find out what the town needs. We already got a list of stuff. Mayor! Mayor Brody, That's and Mayor City Brody. Council Sophia, oh, and their publicity agent. Publicity agent, wow. <laughs> you know, you you were really a big help this morning, and I, I, I was wondering if you could help me out with something, Mayor Brody. So, you see, I have this here letter. Uh, I've taken over this business from my uncle. I'm trying to make some cash flow a little bit. And I figured the best way to do that if I have the right to issue prospector's licenses. Usually Mayor Benton or the judge, they handle this. But since you're in town, I was wondering if you could take a look at this. It would say, I, the Honorable Mayor Brody, do hereby grant the temporary right for Zach Connolly and his assay office associates to issue prospector's licenses on July 3rd, 1892, Founders Day. 
Mayor Brody, do you find these terms acceptable? Okay, good. So all you need to do is print your name here and sign here. Oh yes, please, yes, please, Sophie, yes. It's good to have as much political support behind this as, as possible to, to, to authenticate this. Sophia. Sophia, that's right, Sophia. That's right. I know you're crazy. Thank you, Mayor Brody and City Council Member Sophia and Shake his hand. Dad? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. When I was looking at, I was looking at Dad. Out, you gotta I'm, shake oh, I'm so sorry. Mayor, Mayor Brody, please, please forgive me, Mayor Brody. Do you forgive me? No. <laughs> All right. What can I do to earn your forgiveness, oh, Mayor Brody? Oh, I love this man. Okay. Another IOU. You had to go to jail. <laughs> I guess I gotta go to jail. Oh, I gotta go to jail. He, he, he didn't shake the mayor's hand, so he's going to jail. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, Mayor. I, I missed it. Yeah, I was late. He insulted the mayor by not shaking his hand. I didn't. I, it was a, it was an honest mistake. He's wow. never tell it. Oh, well, you don't understand the etiquette. Protest. You don't like the town. Please don't don't tell my uncle Zach about the uncle Zeke about this, please. No, don't tell my parents or no. Go, come on. Oh, come on, itchy, please. All right. Make sure he says his three minutes. Uncle, right, we gotta go to the bank. We gotta no, go. don't tell my uncle, please. I can't bear the shame. I, I'm sorry for the mayor. That's all right. I'm sorry. He's only doing his job. I can't blame him. I can only blame myself. Oh. All right, what is this? Pay uh, Mayor Brody, I owe you $25, Gilbert White. That's for a permit for a circus he's gonna have. It's oh, he's in a circus? That's exciting. So we need a receipt for that. Absolutely. So we can give it to him. All right. Make sure you put that money in the town's account. Oh, absolutely. What's your mayorshipness doing so far today? I don't know words, <laughs> Judge. I didn't go to school. We know that. Uh, oh. Oh, look at look at the hair. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? You didn't give me a chance. I didn't see it. I can't go to jail. I got to run the bank. Since he's got to run the bank, yeah. Uh, give him one more give, chance. Give me, a, one give more me another chance. job. One more chance, there. The, the, the guys, if, if you do it, I'm not looking. It's not fair. Did you uh, get that special item? Did that show up? Oh, the Calico Express Nugget. Would yeah. you like to see that? Would you like to see it? It's in the vault. How about this? If I show you the Calico Express Nugget, the next time you you let me see when you're going to shake my hand so I don't miss it. All right? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so go over there. You need to help. Me. All right, you're going to take this and turn it three times to the right when I say go. Go. One, two, three. Whoa. All right, let me go in first. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas. We've already had a, one mayor try to swindle us before. So, uh, l l here it is. Just one mayor? The Calico Express Nugget right here just came in yesterday. It's 100 pounds. It's gold and silver, and it looks like a train. You see that? There's a train. There's a smoke. This is the pride of our, our bank right now. We got it on loan from the county to, to try to build up some some uh, business for the bank. Miss Cookie thinks if people see something this fancy in the bank, they're gonna be like, "Ooh, maybe I should put my money next to the big nugget." Make you know? sure the robbers don't take that. Ma or I will do my best. Maybe you can help me as the new mayor. Okay, I do, if the robbers take that, you have to go to jail. I have to go to jail. <laughs> what about the robbers? Yes, uh, the robbers have to go to jail with you. Oh the God. mayor has found another YouTuber. <laughs> The mayor has found Adventures with David, <laughs> and the mayor right now, bro, is very vicious. Oh, He's just tossing man. everybody in jail. Is it because I'm a Mayfield? Oh. Oh wait, I'm not a Mayfield. I'm not part of the Mayfield. Uh -oh. Maybe. Hey, mayor, you know what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and let Adventures with David off today. Nope. Oh, there's no sheriff though. Ah. Oh, there's a sheriff. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to you I know. in jail. How did we end up here? Uh, it's because I'm a Mayfield. You're a Mayfield. Wait, are you a Mad Buck? No, I'm Mayfield. A Mayfield. You know. Wait, wait, wait. We're not Mayfield. We're, we're not, not Mayfield. We're not, we're not Mayfield. No talking. No talking in jail. You're getting extra three minutes. Oh. Right. That way you can get your. You can give it. Hey, you can give the keys to a dog. Now watch. 
<laughs> okay, Mary, we'll, we'll be out in a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, now listen, now right. listen. Now, the mayor is my son, and okay. we've been walking around Calico for a while. I just went in the bank. Okay. And I saw the big gold nugget. Oh. And I saw all the money. <laughs> and we're both a part of the <coughs> Mayfield, <coughs> yep, right? Yep. <coughs> <coughs> and since my son's the mayor, I heard that he might be putting tripwire inside the bank, and I know how to get in there. Since he both put us in jail, I say we drop some key notes to the Mayfields, and we take that money. That's right. And then we become mayors, and we Whoa. take over this town. You'll be the mayor. I'll be the main sheriff here. Yeah, Dude, let's do it. We're going to run this town. But first, we have to get out of jail. Um. Harry, Harry, Harry. New laws by our mayor, Brody. So, Sophia, the city council is going to read it. What's the first law, Sophia? The first law is outlaw shall have a teddy bear for night tremors. You get a teddy bear for night tremors. You get a teddy bear? Oh, I have so many tremors. I don't like sleeping at night. Law number two. Is ice cream every day between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock for the rest of the day? Even for outlaws? Even for outlaws. 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 Even an electric wire to prevent the fat ball from outlaw. And number four. That means if you try and get in, you go. No. And well, we get ice cream. <laughs> you get ice cream afterwards. Yeah. And number four is if you don't see the mayor's hand and shake it late, you go to jail for three minutes. So if the mayor holds out his hand and you don't shake it, you go to jail for three minutes. Oh, oh my goodness. Got to watch the mayor's hand. You... No, this is city council. Oh, you see? Oh. So no jail for me? No, you saw I'm the good. head. You're lucky. Yeah, very good. Thank you there, Mayor.